Okay, so let's look at what happens when DHT binds to the androgen receptor. Uh, imagine uh, this is a hair follicle cell, so a quick revision. Uh, we have this cell here, this is the cytoplasm, and you have the nucleus, which is where the DNA is stored, okay? And proteins are made in the cytoplasm and ribosomes, and they're exported out of the cell. Okay, so DHT is an androgen, it's a steroid hormone. Usually steroid hormones bind in the cytoplasm outside the nucleus, and this, cons uh, this complex of androgen and androgen receptor then move into the nucleus. Imagine this is the hair follicle cell. Testosterone enters this area. Remember, in these, in certain types of tissue, we have an abundance of 5-alpha reductase. In particular, in the scalp, we have 5-alpha reductase type 2. Yes, there's an added layer of complexity. There's different types of 5 alpha reductase. Just for now, uh, just trust me that in the scalp, the predominant type of 5 alpha reductase is type 2. Okay, so this 5 alpha reductase type 2 acts on the carbon double bond between, uh, on the, the double bond in testosterone between carbon atom number 4 and number 5, and we get the production of dihydrotestosterone. Remember, we add two hydrogens to that testosterone. That DHT or dihydrotestosterone then diffuses into the cytoplasm of the hair follicle cell where it finds its androgen receptor. So even if there was testosterone which managed to diffuse into the cell, that receptor is more attracted to the DHT. It just finds it more attractive. And so you get this complex of DHT and this androgen receptor. This complex then makes its way into the nucleus down here and then it binds to the DNA at certain parts and it can influence the transcription and subsequent translation of proteins thereby causing hair loss. Now hopefully that's explained, it's a quick snapshot of what actually happens, of course it's much more complicated than that. Um, that concludes this video on what happens when the DHT binds to the receptor. Uh, in the next video, we're going to look at the history of the development of the idea that DHT can cause hair loss. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please click the subscribe button and see you next time. Thanks. Bye.